Hi and welcome back to another WinCC tutorial which is uh, number 13. Uh, what we're going to have a little look at today is a symbolic I.O. field. Um, but the first thing that we need to do with that is that at present it does nothing. We have to assign a list of items that are going to be stored into that uh, little object and we do that via the text list. So we'll add a new list Let's call it test, li uh, test text list one. Set it to arrange, and down here we will now add our values. Just by double clicking, you create all your values, and we can set what our list needs to be. So, for uh, example, we'll do automatic. Uh, semi automatic and put manual oh, list A, manual so now we've created a list here of our items and we've stored it into text list if we now go back to our tag and we're going to put another tag in we'll call it list one, one underscore value you'll see what this is for shortly we'll make that an internal tag and again we'll make it an integer we go back to our object on our main screen here and we select it and under the general headings we'll make it an input only we now select the text list that we want and you immediately see that it's put in the first value out the top of that list and for the moment we're just going to put our list value in now what happens here if you go back to your text list you'll see that you have values 0, 1, 2 and 3 whenever you make a selection of here that value will be passed into the variable of list 1 value okay It'll be passed into that for us to then monitor later and to prove this what we are also going to do is put in an IO field okay so we're covering two things with one aspect at the moment this is an input and output we're just going to show a value so we want it to be an output our tag for that is going to be a, the list value so whatever our list value is it's going to put that value into that tag we're going to keep it as decimal and as there is only one digit there we'll just format the pattern as one digit only there's no decimal points so we can keep that at zero so by running our program it now comes up as our uh, display with our little um, object there we can click the arrow and now we can see our text list inside of it. If I select automatic that is position 1 as off is position 0 as in our text list so if I click automatic our little value changed to 1. Semi-automatic is 2 manual is 3 and if I go back to off it's, four, it's 0. So there you go you can now select a text list where you've created a text list you've added in your values into your list and you've got your values there you've then added that text list to your object and in your object the process tag is the value that you've selected from the list and then we've displayed that value into an IO field. So those are handy little units. Obviously, remembering I'm only using internal tags, but these tags are probably you'll be sent to down to your PLC so that it can choose the thing that you want it to do. So there you go, there's a quick video of the IO field and the symbolic IO field and an overview of text lists. And you can create as many lists as you want 
you know, here, and then select the range from your lists. You also have the graphics lists, very similar in, in the sense. So you can choose graphics and then put them onto your screen depending on what the value is. So your buttons could change their, their uh, look depending on the value that you're in. Okay, I hope that's been uh, informative and useful and uh, I look forward to